Good morning, folks. We went weeks with no more than one or two M1 solar flares. We waited patiently for Mercury to approach conjunction with the Sun, which actually happens in about two days. And in true, never let us down fashion, the Sun began popping solar flares. We had three in about 26 hours, with the M6 being a sign of significantly increased activity, but we may not see much more the next few days on the Earth-facing side as the departing group is losing magnetics and the incoming spots are a bit of a letdown thus far. We did indeed have one big CME, but it came off the backside of the Sun. You can see it here even as the images are chopped and Mercury stumbles into the C2 frame. Nice one, Soho. We do have other eruption threats, the thin dark plasma filaments like that one atop the Earth scale there, and another just south behind the large coronal hole. Those thin ropes are the primary eruption threat until we get some more spots. Speaking of that southern coronal hole, an astute observation by many of you in emails asking is the continued negative polarity not as proliferative to seismicity as the incoming switch to positive? That's a great question. We'll see soon as the top left shows the next coronal hole is on the disk now. Speaking of quakes, yeah, we didn't take any big ones, but the moderate shaking has quadrupled in the past 36 hours. There are multiple injuries off the China earthquake, and the uptick swarm in Greece and western Turkey should have everyone's attention as potential foreshocks. Sticking with the RSOE, I want to bring attention to two water worries outside of California. Major drought effects, but the same concern in the subcontinent islands here comes due to a sewage problem and contamination. Recommended stories today begin with an article about how introduction of hot gases can stifle otherwise prolific stellar formation. It's linked for you below. For those interested in geoengineering, we've got another update on that topic. More coming on Fly on the Wall as well today. And you know the GMO situation is big in these circles. Can anyone confirm the insanity of this apparent flip-flop in the EU? Seems ludicrous. But not as bad as what's happened with the labeling issue in the US. Not only did the big boys like DuPont and Monsanto outspend the competition 21 million to 9, but they are alleged to have committed textbook voter fraud. Of course, they'll get away with it because this is America and they got dollars. Super Typhoon at the Philippines, not quite at Super Typhoon strength anymore, but still powerful and battering the coastline. Center cut here from the measurement mission. In the West, we see three lows and corresponding convergences with heavy moisture content. Got two out West, nice little drought abatement, and the rainmaker in the East. The hard drive around that eastern low is also providing a wild temperature delta. Major fluctuations as the system comes through. Check your local forecast for any storm or hazardous road conditions. In Europe, the focus is on this enormous convergence between the primary low and high pressure nodes in the North Atlantic. Yes, the Mediterranean system is still a storm producer, but the major flow today is off that convergence as the cloud line sweeps in very quickly. If you can remember yesterday's charts, that southern low indeed moved on to New Zealand, but the convergence line still hangs around in eastern Australia, with another low developing to the west. Cloud pop shouldn't surprise anyone here, and as always, I'd love some weather shares. Today is Saturday, so we'll be putting another episode of Fly on the Wall up in just a few hours. Today we're talking the sun, GMOs, chemtrails, and more. I might suggest that members get caught up on the hours of material available here. And even beyond the premium listing, don't forget that there is more at the top of the evening news page. Space radiation is a vital piece. October's update, the electric experiments from the lab, and the supplement for the sun series. Membership is only $3 per month, or $20 if you get a whole year. We greatly appreciate your support. Got current conditions? And shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.